Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. In the meshless name of Yahoshua Mashiach, this is Yahweh's servant, Reginald M. Graham. And we are delighted to be able to come to you once again with another message from the word of Yahweh. This is Come Out of Her, My People, broadcast with your host, Reginald M. Graham. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just a voice crying in this end time wilderness, preparing the way of Yahweh, making straight paths, ladies and gentlemen, for our Messiah, Yahoshua Mashiach. The Bible tells us in the book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 14, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness to all nations and then shall the end come. Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, this has come out of Her My People broadcast with your host, Reginald M. Graham. And we thank Yahweh for you tuning in with us this evening with another message from the word of Yahweh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to prolong the time. We're going to get right into our message, amen, this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, there are people we come in contact with daily all around us that are possessed and oppressed by devils. Others have various spiritual problems and needs, ladies and gentlemen, that they need prayers and someone to listen and witness to them. But we cannot administer deliverance and help to unregenerated souls if our spirits are defiled and spotted by hidden sins of lust, dishonesty, and other evils. Yahweh only utilizes, ladies and gentlemen, freely vessels that are undefiled and unspotted from this world. John 14 and 30, Yahoshua declared, Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh, and have nothing in me. Yahoshua was so set apart, so separated from the world, that there was nothing in him that Satan, the prince of this world, could accuse him of. Yahoshua had no hidden sins in his life. Therefore, Satan could not accuse Yahoshua of any sin. Yahoshua never gave place to the devil. Yahoshua had no sins in his life that hindered him from being freely utilized by his father to administer healing and deliverance to un regenerated souls. There's people all around us, ladies and gentlemen, that have many needs, ladies and gentlemen. They have various problems, uh, spiritual problems. They have needs, ladies and gentlemen, and we cannot help them if we have hidden sins in our lives, ladies and gentlemen. If we are spotted, defiled, and corrupt by this world, Ladies and gentlemen, there are many people that need us. They need us, ladies and gentlemen. Therefore, we have to walk in the spirit that we fulfill not the lusts of the flesh. Acts 10 and 38 declares how Elohim anointed Yahoshua of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for Elohim was with him. Yahoshua was unspotted and undefiled from the world. Therefore, the prince of this world, Satan, had nothing in him. There are four that will always know our hidden sins. The father, the son, the devil, and ourselves. Yahweh cannot freely utilize us with hidden sins in our lives. We must confess our hidden sins to Yahweh and repent of them, turn from them. Then the prince 
of this world will have nothing in us. Then Yahweh can freely utilize us and we could administer to people's spiritual needs. Satan knows our hidden sins. We cannot hide them from him and his devils and demons, ladies and gentlemen. We may hide them from people, ladies and gentlemen, from mortals, but we cannot hide our sins from Satan and his devils, ladies and gentlemen. Luke 4, 18 through 19, Yahoshua declared, the spirit of Yahweh is upon me because he have anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He have sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, and to preach the acceptable year of Yahweh. Yahoshua is our model and example. He was separated from the sins of this world. He possessed his vessel in sanctification and honor. This is why Yahoshua was available to freely minister to the spiritual needs of others. The Bible teaches us to follow in Yahoshua's footsteps. Ladies and gentlemen, like Yahoshua, we must make ourselves available, ladies and gentlemen, to this world. 1 Peter 2 and 21 declares, Yahoshua left us an example that ye should follow his steps. Psalms 37 and 37 declares, Mark the perfect man and behold the upright. For the end of that man is peace. The word mark here in Psalms 37 and 37 means to mimic. In other words, we need to mimic Yahoshua, the perfect and upright man. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to mimic his life. James 1 and 27 declares, pure religion and undefiled before Elohim and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction and to keep himself, listen to this, unspotted from the world. We cannot avoid from being in this corrupt and defiled world, but we must live in this world without being spotted and defiled by it. We must keep ourselves unspotted from this evil world that Yahweh can utilize us for his glory. If we are spotted and defiled by the lusts of this world, we cannot freely be utilized by Yahweh. Ladies and gentlemen, it is sad. We have so many people ladies and gentlemen, that are in spiritual, that have spiritual needs. They have various problems, ladies and gentlemen. There's people that are vexed with devils, demons, contemplating suicide, people that are possessed, possessed with devils, ladies and gentlemen. And it's sad that Yahweh's people cannot administer healing and deliverance, ladies and gentlemen, to these people because of hidden sins and secret sins in our lives that's blocking, ladies and gentlemen, the very flow of Yahweh's spirit through us. If we, if we <clears throat> are spotted and defiled by the lust of this world, we cannot freely be utilized by Yahweh. There's nothing we can do to avoid from being in this world. We have to go to work, ladies and gentlemen, deal with our affairs and endeavors, ladies and gentlemen, and business, glory to Yahweh, in this world. So we have to go out in the world, ladies and gentlemen. But because we go out in the world, the Bible teaches us that we don't have to be spotted and defiled and tainted and corrupt by this evil world 
that we live in. We should be able to go out in the world, ladies and gentlemen, and not be unspotted and tainted, amen, by this world. Romans 12 and 1, uh, Paul said, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercy of Elohim, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto you, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of Elohim. So we have to live a life, ladies and gentlemen, that we can be in this world and not be conformed ladies and gentlemen, to this world. 1 John 2, verses uh, 15 says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, amen, the love of the Father is not in him. For all this in the world, listen, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passes away and the lusts thereof. But they that do the will of the Father shall abide forever. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible say the love of money is the root of all evil. But the root of all sin is lust. Lust is behind every sin that a man commit. Lust, all this in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. Pride is even lust, ladies and gentlemen. Amen. Uh, um, lust is behind, amen, the spirit of pride. Glory to Yahweh. First Peter 1, verses 14 through 16 declares, as obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the form of lust, in your ignorance, that word lust, lust, ladies and gentlemen. We can get control over lust, ladies and gentlemen. Yahweh's people will get control over lust. Glory to Yahweh. If you want to get control over lust, you can get control over lust. But as he which have called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of Conversation. This word conversation here in 1 Peter 1 and 15 is not just alluding to verbal conversation, but to uh, one's lifestyle and behavior. 1 Peter 1 and 16, because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy, ladies and gentlemen. 1 Peter 2 and 11 declares, Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which wars against the soul. That word again, lust, lust, lust. If we can get victory over lust, ladies and gentlemen, glory to Yahweh, we will, amen, have ultimate victory. Listen, looking at reels of central women on your smartphones, this is soft pornography. Looking at hardcore pornography occasionally, not all the time, just occasionally. Going out of your way to look at women's buttocks in public. Being flirtatious. We need to abstain from this fleshly lust which war against our souls. These hidden and secret sins will hinder Yahweh's spirit from flowing in our lives. We cannot be freely utilized by Yahweh. I don't know about you. I'm going to be utilized by Yahweh. Not only do I want to, I am going to be utilized by Yahweh, and I am going to make myself available, ladies and gentlemen, that I can be utilized by Yahweh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to make myself available because 
There's a lot of sick people around us, spiritually sick. They need healing, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the people need deliverance. They vaxxed and possessed and, and ups, uh, uh, oppressed and suppressed by demons, ladies and gentlemen, by devils. Uh, people are contemplating suicide. They need someone to talk to. They need someone to witness to, ladies and gentlemen. But if we have secret sins in our lives, ladies and gentlemen, if we are being dictated by lust and control and manipulated by lust, ladies and gentlemen, we cannot freely be utilized by Yahweh to help these individuals. Yahoshua said, they which are whole need not physician, but they which are sick, ladies and gentlemen. We live in a world that people are sick and we are Physicians, Yahweh's people are ambassadors of Mashiach. We are physicians. We are, are doctors, ladies and gentlemen. Yahweh has given us the balm of Gilead. Yahweh has given us, ladies and gentlemen, amen, the medication, the, the spiritual antidote and medication for people's pain and hurt and, 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 and troubles and problems, ladies and gentlemen. That's in their lives. Glory to Yahweh. Praise his holy name. So the lust, these hidden and secret sins of lust will hinder Yahweh's spirit from flowing in our lives. We cannot be freely utilized by Yahweh with these hidden sins. Psalms 19, 12 through 13, King David declared, Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. David asked Yahweh to cleanse him from secret faults, which are sins. Secret faults, ladies and gentlemen, are sins that no other mortal knew about but only David himself. Those secret sins, those secret faults, no other mortal knows about. Amen. In most cases, unless Yahweh gave them discernment and they discern that. But in most cases, no one else knows our secret sins, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, no other mortal know, know about, amen, our secret sin. And Yahweh is so awesome. He is so good, ladies and gentlemen. And Yahweh will not humiliate you. Yahweh don't want to shame you, ladies and gentlemen, make you look bad before other people. This is why we don't have to go to man to confess our sins. You don't have to confess your sins and, and be uh, humiliated and shamed, amen. But Yahweh... The scripture said if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He will never shame us. He will never humiliate us. We will never be embarrassed. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, confessing your secret sins to others is an embarrassment. Amen. It's humiliation. Glory to Yahweh. It's, it's humiliating. Glory to It's shameful. But we don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. You can confess them. Confess them. Glory to Yahweh. To Yahweh, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we're dealing with a sin, glory, glory to Yahweh, and we have someone that we can confide in, someone we really trust, amen, someone that really cares for our soul, Ladies and gentlemen, then if we struggle, we can go to them and confess them for them to pray with us and to help us, ladies and gentlemen, glory to Yahweh. But generally, you don't have to go to people to confess your secret sins. It would be, an, it would be embarrassing, ladies and gentlemen, for us, amen, to confess our secrets. And you don't want nobody to know what you're dealing with. And most people, <clears throat> if they knew your secret sins, they would disown you. 
ladies and gentlemen, they will have nothing to do with you whatsoever. But they got more secret sins than you. It's amazing. That's why Yahweh say we can confess our sins to him. Scripture said we can come boldly before the throne of grace to attain mercy, to find grace to help us, amen, in the time of need. We can go to the throne of grace. I don't have to go to man's throne. I don't have to go to a man. <laughs> I can go to straight to Yahweh. I got a, a, a line, a direct line to heaven, ladies and gentlemen, a direct line to heaven. Glory to Yahweh when I've sinned. Praise his holy name. David asked Yahweh to cleanse him from secret faults, which are sins that no other mortal knew about, but only David himself. 2 Corinthians 7 and 1 tell us to cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of Yahweh. Not only the flesh, ex external visible sins, but those invisible sins in our spirits, amen, that defile us, defile our spirit, that taint and corrupt our spirits, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> First Thessalonians 4, verses 3 through 5 declares, for this is the will of Elohim, even your sanctification, that you should abstain from fornication, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor. Not in the lust of concupiscence, even as the Gentiles which know not Elohim. Lust is the root of sin, friend. Every sin that a man commit, lust is the root of it. It's the origins of it, ladies and gentlemen. It's behind it. Fornication will definitely block the flow of Yahweh's spirit in our lives. Fornication and lust will clog up our spiritual pipes. And we can not be freely utilized by Yahweh with these sins in our lives. Repentance, turning our back on sin. Ladies and gentlemen, repentance is our spiritual draino and rotor rooter device to unclog our spiritual pipes, ladies and gentlemen. Proverbs 28 and 13 declares, he that covers his sins shall not prosper, but whosoever confess and forsake them, that's repentance, that's, that's, that's repentance there. That work is, amen, salvation. <clears throat> Confess and forsakest them shall have mercy. Psalms 32 and 5, King David declared, I acknowledge my sin unto thee and my iniquity have I not hid. I said I will confess my transgressions. Yahweh, thou forgave us the iniquity of my sin. This is real repentance here. This is, this is what <laughs> repentance is. This is, a man defines repentance. Let me read that again in Psalms 32 and 5. King David declared, I acknowledge my sin. He acknowledges sins. He recognized that he said, unto thee and my iniquity have I not hid. I said I will confess my transgression, he confessed his transgressions to Yahweh, unto Yahweh, thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. If we com confess them and forsake them, we shall have mercy. Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 15 declares, the little foxes that spoil the vines, <clears throat> the hidden and secret sins, does more damage to us than the external or visible sins. The hidden and secret sins are the little foxes that spoil the vines, not the visible and external sins that others can see, but those hidden sins that no other mortal know, but we ourselves. 
And Satan knows them, and the devil know them, and surely Yahweh and his son knows them, ladies and gentlemen. The little foxes or hidden sins are extremely dangerous because when they are hidden and not visible, we have a tendency to let them go unchecked because they are hid from people, ladies and gentlemen, because they're hidden from people. The Bible say Adam and Eve hid their sins in their bosom, ladies and gentlemen. We can't hide our sins in our bosoms if we want to be used of Yahweh. If a preacher want to be used lady, to minister to people, to administer deliverance uh, uh, to people, ladies and gentlemen, a minister healing to people. If we clogged up with these secret sins, Yahweh cannot freely utilize us. I'm going to make myself available. I am going to be accessible. I am going to keep myself available because you never, listen, a child of Yahweh is always on call. A true child of Yahweh is on call. Somebody may call you three in the morning, four in the morning. It doesn't matter. Amen. You don't know where you're going to go. <clears throat> you don't know who you're going to meet. You don't know the people that you're going to come in contact with. You don't know their needs. You might be the person that helped them, save them from committing suicide. You can help these people. Amen. They need physicians. They need doctors, spiritual doctors. They need people to be able to help them. But if we sit, if we sit with hidden sins, <clears throat> and sins, if we sit, sin will make you sick. Sins, hidden sins in particular, will make us sick, friend. It will make us sick. And we cannot be utilized by Yahweh. I want to be utilized by Yahweh. I don't want to, no hindrances in my life. No distractions. Nothing to keep me from being used. I want Yahweh to anoint me when I preach. I want to I pray for people that need deliverance and I want to see them get their deliverance. I want devils cast out of people. I want people that's vexed and amen and amen and, and, and oppressed by devils, ladies and gentlemen, to be free. But if we don't make ourselves available by repenting of our sins, staying away from sin, ladies and gentlemen, amen, then Yahweh cannot use us, ladies and gentlemen. Ecclesiastes 10 and 1 declares, dead flies causes the ointment of the apothecary to send forth a stinking savor or smell. So do us a little folly. <clears throat> Him that in reputation for wisdom and honor. Now, metaphorically, Speaking, the dead flies are hidden sins. The ointment of the apothecary is our spirits. Hidden sins will corrupt and defile our vessels, ladies and gentlemen. The apothecary ointment is a very expensive ointment. And ladies and gentlemen, it is a very a man, splendid smell, and it's very expensive. But if you flies get in it, if flies get in that ointment, ladies and gentlemen, it will cause the ointment to stink. We cannot allow these flies to get in our spirit that cause us to stink in the very nostrils of Yahweh, ladies and gentlemen. Dead flies or hidden sins in our spirit will hinder the flow of Yahweh's spirit in our lives and prevent Yahweh from freely utilizing us. If we have hidden sins in our lives, when we lay hands on people and pray over them or cast out devils, we are actually transferring spirits from us to them. Ladies, that's why hands got to be clean, ladies and gentlemen. When you're dealing with people, unsaved folks, when you're dealing with people, not only your spirit, 
would transfer spirits to them. They would transfer spirits to you, ladies and gentlemen. This is why a child of Yahweh must be a clean vessel. We have to be clean vessels because you would transfer your spirit, your bad spirits, your evil spirits <clears throat> on those people. And these spirits will detach and enter into these people if your spirit is defiled. So we got to keep our hands clean. We got to keep our eyes, our, our ears, ladies and gentlemen. We have to, amen, keep ourselves clean before Yahweh. In 2 Timothy <clears throat> chapter number 2, ladies and gentlemen, 2 Timothy chapter 2, and verses 20, it says, but in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth and some to honor and some to dishonor. Now, Paul is using a metaphor here. This great house, ladies and gentlemen, that Paul is making reference to, this mansion is making reference <clears throat> to the kingdom of heaven the assembly of Yahweh, his church. But in a great house, there are, on, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver. Now, in the house of Yahweh, in the kingdom of heaven, you have all types of vessels. You have vessels of gold and vessels, ladies and gentlemen, of silver. These are honorable vessels. These are honorable ves vessels. Precious metal. Some people are honorable in the house of Yahweh. Some are not honorable in the kingdom of heaven. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> we have to be precious metal, but also a wood. Now, these are the dishonorable vessels. These dishonorable vessels are people that have hidden sins in their life. Now, the gold and silver vessels are those <clears throat> that have made themselves available that have cleansed themselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of Yahweh. These are those that have confessed and turned their back on their hidden sins. These are the honorable vessels, gold vessels, silver vessels. You want to be an honorable vessel, ladies and gentlemen, in the kingdom of heaven. Glory to Yahweh. And then there are also vessels of wood. These are dishonorable vessels. I don't want to be a vessel of wood and of earth. Amen. Clay vessels. I don't want to be a vessel, amen, of earth. These are dishonorable vessels. And some to honor and some to dishonor. In the house of Yahweh, in the kingdom of heaven, in Yahweh's assembly, they are vessels to honor, then they are vessels to dishonor. Yahweh honors certain vessels, and Yahweh dishonor, amen, <clears throat> various vessels. But there are more dishonorable vessels in the kingdom of heaven than honorable vessels, ladies and gentlemen. There are vessels of gold and silver in the kingdom of heaven, but look at this. But the dishonorable vessels, <coughs> there's two honorable vessels, gold and silver, but look at the dishonorable vessels. Wood, earth, ladies and gentlemen, some to honor and some to dishonor. It says in verse 21, if a man therefore purge himself from these, if a man repent, he repent, he confess his sins, and he repent, he confess his sins, and he repent, ladies and gentlemen, bless the name of Yahweh. Even if he have hidden sins, all he have to do is confess them now and repent and make up his mind he's not going to do them any longer. Glory to y'all. Hidden sin. Those sins you don't want nobody else to know. You might be looking at reels on your smartphone of them central women twerking. You may look, that's soft pornography. By the way, that's soft pornography. <clears throat> you may be looking or obsessed with these things. You may be looking occasionally. You don't have to look at it all the time. Just occasionally look at those reels. Occasionally look at hardcore uh, pornography. Ladies and gentlemen. 
Glory. Uh, you, you, you have a flirtatious spirit. Uh, you go out of your way to turn your head to look at women's buttocks. So women, they lust at men too. Women lust at men too, ladies and gentlemen. These are hidden sins. These sins will cause you to be dishonorable. You will not be an honorable vessel if you don't deal with these sins. We have to deal with these sins. I got to be used of Yahweh. Listen, I'm going to be used of Yahweh. Uh, uh, I want Yahweh to take me like a dish rag. Amen. And squeeze me. Squeeze everything out of me. Squeeze everything out of me. Glory to Yahweh. Amen. I want him, I want to be utilized by Yahweh. Not sometime, not inconsistently. Amen. But all the time. Because we don't call. We have to make ourselves available at all times. People are hurting all around us. You might get that phone call. You might go out to the grocery store. You might meet someone. Yahweh lead you to individuals for you to administer healing, deliverance. Amen. To you, for you to witness to them, to you, for you to give them a word of encouragement. Glory to Yahweh. To, to strengthen them. But if you have hidden sins in your life, you are a dishonorable vessel. You are a vessel of wood and earth. You are dishonorable. Bless the name of Yahweh. But if you have purged yourself, if you confess your sins, if you repented of those things and you stay away from those things, David said, I will set no wicked thing before my eyes, ladies and gentlemen. You stay away from that stuff. You make up your mind. I know you got a, a smartphone. You got Facebook and you, it's filth on Facebook. It's evils on, on, on Facebook. It's evils, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> on YouTube. It's evils on your smartphone. But you can have a smartphone and not be tainted, corrupt, and spotted. You don't have to be corrupt and spotted because you own a cell phone. You, ladies and gentlemen, you should know how. Yahweh will show you how to monitor that thing that it won't monitor you. That it won't get the best of you. You got to know how to use that spell cell phone. You got to know how to use that smartphone, just like money. You got to know how to utilize money. You can't let money control you. You have to control it. So you got to control your smartphone. You got to know what to watch at. Watch. You got to know what not to watch. You got to monitor your eyes. You got to monitor your ears, even the language. Even the language is filthy. And all these things are designed to defile your spirit, to corrupt you ladies and gentlemen, to defile you in order for the spirit of Yahweh not to flow freely through you that when the time you need to minister, you can't minister, you can't help people because you're not at the place you need to be. Look at verses 21. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor. That's what we want to be. We want to be vessels unto honor, sanctified, Set apart, set apart, and meet, and meet. Other words, we made ourselves available. Yahweh will meet for Yahweh to utilize us. Amen. For the master's use, for Yahweh's use, and prepared unto every good work. You prepared, you're flexible, ladies and gentlemen. You, re you, you, you instant in season, out of season. Amen. You're ready at any given time. <clears throat> we can't wait to get ourselves ready when somebody needs us. We have to be prepared. We can't wait to get ourselves ready. Oh, I got to go pray. Father, I'm sorry. I repent I, for what I've done. Then we go and help. No, 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 friend. No, no, no. We have to walk in the spirit that we fulfill not the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these two are contrary one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would, ladies and gentlemen. Glory to Yahweh. Then it says, flee. Look at this. There you go again. Here you go again, friend. Flee also useful lust. Lust. Lust is the problem. Lust is the problem, friend. But follow righteousness, faith, charity, 
peace with them that call on Yahweh out of a pure heart. And 2 Timothy 2 and 19, we'll close here. The Bible says, <coughs> excuse me, the foundation of Elohim standeth sure. Having this seal, Yahweh knows them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Yahoshua Mashiach depart from iniquity. Hidden sins, ladies and gentlemen, iniquity. See, Satan, Lucifer, before he was cast out to the earth, the Bible says, ladies and gentlemen, Yahweh seen the iniquity that was in his heart. Ladies and gentlemen, iniquity in the scripture and sin sometimes means the same thing, but then other times they are distinguished from one another. Sometimes iniquity means hidden sins, inward sins. Sins can be visible or external sins, ladies and gentlemen. But Lucifer, the Bible says that sin, iniquity was found, amen, in his heart. It was hidden. It's this hidden sin that was there, ladies and gentlemen. We got to deal with these hidden sins. And in my, in my close, amen, closure today, um, we see Apostle Paul. We see the other apostles, Peter, James. These men, ladies and gentlemen, made themselves available. They walked in the spirit. And when there was needs, Peter and John going to the temple to pray. There was a man begging, amen, for alms. Amen. Ask Peter and John for money to help him. He was uh, lame from his mother's womb. He laid there. And Peter told uh, that man to look on us. He says, silver and gold have we none. But such as we have, we give unto thee. In the name of Yahushua Mashiach, rise up and walk. That man was healed instantly. Peter and John made themselves available for him. They was ready. They were prayed up, fasted up. Ladies and gentlemen, they weren't dealing with sin. They didn't have to go wait, tell the man, wait, we'll come back and pray for you until we, once we get it right, once we repent of our sin, then we'll come back. No, they was on call. They were instant, in season out of season. We see where Apostle Peter, the Bible says they laid sick people on couches in bed. People with, that was possessed with evil spirits. Uh, uh, people that was lame. People that had palsy. People that had all type of sicknesses and disease. And the Bible says that his shadow, his only his shadow, ladies and gentlemen, overshadowed these people. And the people was healed. Those that had devils, demons was cast out. Those was demon possessed, they was delivered from demons, ladies and gentlemen. And, and, and those that, ladies and gentlemen, need healing, they was all delivered and set free just by the man's shadow, his presence. Ladies and gentlemen, these men was walking in the spirit. These men was walking in the spirit. These men, ladies and gentlemen, was not entertain, entertaining sin. They didn't have secret sins in their life. And that's why Yahweh used them so greatly ladies and gentlemen. That's why Yahweh used them so greatly. These men walked in the spirit, brothers and sisters. They were honorable vessels. They were not dishonorable vessels. Paul was an honorable vessel. Peter and John, and James, and the other apostles were honorable vessels. Yahoshua, he was our example, our model. He was an honorable vessel. Ladies and gentlemen, he was without sin. Neither was God found in his mouth. Never sinned. He never in his life sinned. He walked in the spirit at all times. He had no hidden sins. And we read the scripture to you, ladies and gentlemen, in the book of John, chapter 14, in my closing, verse 30. Look what Yahoshua said. Yahoshua declared, hereafter I will not talk much with you 
For the prince of this world, that's Satan, cometh and have nothing in me. Satan had nothing in Yahushua. We can't allow Satan to have something in us. Because when you sin, the devils know. They see you. They see it. They know your hidden sins. They know what you do in secret when nobody else is around. They know what you do when no one else is around. They can see it. Them spirits see it. Yahweh and them angels see it. And Yahweh will see it. But them demons, them devils, Satan can see what you're doing in secret. Ladies and gentlemen. And therefore, he got something in you. Amen. But if you repent of your sins and turn from them, Satan won't have nothing in you anymore. He can't accuse you for nothing. He ain't got nothing to accuse you to, to Yahweh. Bible says Satan is accused of the brethren. He can't accuse you to Yahweh day and night because there's nothing in you. There's nothing in you. Satan has no leverage. Satan has no ground. He has no place, no leverage whatsoever in your life. Because you're walking in the spirit. You got rid of these hidden sins. You're not spotted. You unspotted, ladies and gentlemen, from the world. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to keep ourselves unspotted from this world. May Yahweh bless you. Amen. We thank Yahweh for you tuning in with us once again with another message from the word of Yahweh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Yahweh's willing, we'll be back on tomorrow, same time. Glory to Yahweh. And until then, amen. May Yahweh continue to bless you and smile on you is our prayers. Mm -hmm.